So on many kipu cords, you'll find a series of knots like this. And in many cases, these knots seem to have signified numbers. And these numbers are signified in much the same way as our own decimal system where if I want to write the number 121, I would write the number 1, followed by a 2, followed by a 1. And this means that I have 1 in the hundreds place, I have 2 in the tens place, and then I have 1 in the ones place. And then that means 121 in, in the, our system of writing that number. So the Inca did the exact same thing, they just flipped it vertically. So instead of uh, this horizontal system, we have one knot up in the uh, hundreds place, we have two knots in the tens place, and we have one knot in the ones place, 121. The one tricky thing with this is that not all of the knots are tied in the same way at different hierarchical levels. So let's talk about how we would actually tie these numbers onto a kipu cord and how these different knot types work in that system. First, let's make what we call long knot in the ones place at the bottom of the cord. Long knots could be used to signify the numbers 2 through 9 in the ones place. You simply wrap the cord around itself as many times as the number you want to signify. Here I make the number 3 by wrapping the cord three times around itself and then tightening the knot. Note that you can easily count the 3 now that the knot is tightened. For values in the tens place, let's pick a spot in the middle of the cord to tie our knots and distinguish from the ones place below. Instead of 3, let's turn the number on this cord into a 23. To do this, we tie two single knots, which are just simple overhand knots. Now our cord has the number 23 on it. Two knots in the tens place and one long knot in the ones place. What if we wanted to signify the number 123? We simply move further up the cord and tie one more single knot in the hundreds place to signify the number 123 overall. Make sure all of your decimal positions are well spaced so that you can tell the difference between your tens, hundreds, and thousands. Here I have about the same amount of space between my long knot 3 in the ones place two single knots in the tens place, and one single knot in the hundreds place, to make clear that I'm signifying the number 123. If long knots only form the numbers 2 through 9 in the ones place, though, how do we make the number 1? Let's turn this number into the number 121 to find out. Note that without a knot in the ones position, our chord now has the number 120 recorded on it. Zeros are simply recorded by the absence of a knot at any level in the knot hierarchy. So instead of using a long knot, I will use what is called a figure eight knot to represent the number one. Figure eight knots are only used to signify the number one. You tie them by passing the cord behind itself and through the loop you've made. Now I've signified the number 121. With these knots and decimal positions, you can now signify any integer values with a kipu cord.